Hi everyone, Sovereign D here, and we're back for my Let's Play of The Secret World. And today, I'm with Giga. Say hi, Giga. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Giga is also Mudo, but... Oh wait, was that your secret identity? Were they not supposed to know that? Uh, now, now I'm busted. Uh, they might have been able to tell from your voice, though. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. So sure today could. we're going to do our Dawning of an Endless Night, which is the Solomon Island, or I guess Kingsmith uh, mission. Uh, I just totally fell in the water. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, I can get up here. You want me to wait? No, this kill him. is the captain and it's puking split pea soup all over me. He's the captain, and he says, bring me my wine. Actually, I'm fine, so... Mudo, hurry! <laughs> or should I just run away? I'll just run away. You got heals? You have fist weapons? No, I don't have heals. What kind of fist weapons are you? I am damage. Strictly damage. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> How did you fall? I don't know, I jumped and it just was like, nope, river. It is very narrow. Oh wait, we need our pets. Do you get a pet on your alt? There we go. Okay, where is... How'd you get an owl? I bought it from the item store. We gotta wait for him His to name spawn. is Hedwig. Alright viewers, one second. Are you sure we don't have to like walk off and walk back on? Yep. There we go. Oh. Hello. Stein. Hedwig said, good job. Ooh, it's a note from the captain. So we're supposed to talk to Dr. Banana Man? Banana Man. Do 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 do. Banana Man. Do 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 do. -do. Go for the throat! Yeah, so I, you are I picked claws because go for the throat stuns them for 5 seconds and does 317 damage. So I feel like it's awesome. Makes you heal. Oh, I do have a passive that heals. And your cat. No, oh, I'm too high for my cat. Really? Yeah. I think once you have more than 3 million, 3 million XP, it, it stopped, the buff went away after I had reached that number. Okay guys, we're going to meet you at the police station. Okay. So we're in the police station, obviously. Now you are a sight for sore All right. eyes. Did we just talk to him about the Lady Margaret? The Lady Margaret uh, yes. was a traumatic experience for everyone on board. They were changed men when they came back. I visited with all of them in the days following their return. Okay. In my office, there are detailed transcripts of our sessions. I'm afraid it all happened so fast that day there was no time to pack. I hope they may shed some light on what happened out there. Okay, so we have to go to his office, which is where the blue X is. <clears throat> Hello, my friend. Hello. Ooh, what is this? The Curious Case of Benjamin Button? Huh. Uh, no. <laughs> Joe Slater, isn't he from 
Uh, Saved by the Bell? No, that's AC Slater. Oh, it must be his older brother. No, his older brother was uh, Heating Slater. You know who AC Slater's older brother is? Yeah, Heating. <laughs> okay, what do we do here? Examine the files? Oh. So he just let us into his house to hack his computer and he's okay with that? If you can figure out what the password is. Alright, music of the seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall? Oh. Night Helen and I met under fireworks set to my favorite composer. Hmm. Composer? What was it? Music of the season? Mm -hmm. Composer. Huh. Is it Vivaldi? Yep. Oh. Okay. So we're going to type in Vivaldi. No, we're going to type in one first. And then Vivaldi. Ah! Ooh, deviant teenager. Huh. We've already talked to said deviant teenager. YouTube clip of Rosen in his underwear. Can we go on YouTube to find that clip? That would be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh. AC Slater, Derek Creed, and Lawrence Creed. They live on Main Street and Belmont. Hmm. Headaches. Leg twitched. All normal stuff. What was the other thing, fortune teller? Roger seems to suffer from a variety of deviant sexual fantasies, not least of which involve an inappropriate doctor-patient relationship. <laughs> what? <laughs> Does that mean she's having sex with Dr. Banner Anderman? I think that she wants to, not that she is. Oh. I thought... He was being sneaky. So now what? Find Derek Creed? Oh, are we gonna find these files later or now? We can do it on the way. Okay, on the way. I think that completed for me. Hopefully. Occasionally it will. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, it's around the other side. Someone's done this quest before. <laughs> I know. I think I went the wrong way twice. But the third time it's... I think Funcom's really good at tricking you to go in the wrong direction. you get credit for that one? I did. Excellent. I did a Rooney. You're on fire though. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> what did I see? I was watching um, <laughs> Game of Thrones and there was a part where I was like, oh, it's just a flesh wound. Did you see Game of Thrones, Giga? Up to... I thought there was one on this guy's tire. Oh no, that's the... Did you see the first season? Hey, you gotta... Ins yeah, I've seen up to episode 6 of season 2. What are you doing? 
Well, apparently that's... we have to go down there later. Well, don't spoil it. To find Joe Slater, I believe. Don't spoil it for the viewers. I was not. I was just saying it's highlighted in yellow. Oh. Was it? It wasn't highlighted in yellow for me. It was for me. Well, aren't you special? Oh, wait. We have to go around the other way, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll let them attack her. <laughs> That's how you do it when the, the zombie apocalypse. Always make sure you have a friend for bait. Is there a um, note around here? Yeah, there's a page down here somewhere. I don't see it. It's on the picnic bench. Oh. Very good. I feel like you've gotten all the pages. There, you can get that one. Where? Nope, you went past it. I tried clicking on it. Now we need to go back, but we can do that in a bit. Wait, oh. Let's oh. find Joe Slater. You mean AC Slater? What is this? Green slime. Actually, I think it's Slimer from Ghostbusters. That is possible. You sound like you need a red bull. Ew. <laughs> so... Someone apparently took Joe Slater. Apparently it was Slimer. That's his name, right? From Ghostbusters. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. There's like red stuff on the walls. She ran over to the other inhaler on purpose. Oh! And viewers, in case you're wondering where the heck Giga went, for some reason we're in a solo instant. So we actually can't help each other. Which sucks for people who suck at the game because they have to make it through on their own. Hug the left wall. Hug the left wall. Hug it? Okay. Yep. Or just stay near it. Whatever. This is where he spotted me. I love 
my move, um, Schism, because she does, uh, is it Haruken? The, the thing where they do an uppercut? That's Every... a sure you can. Sure you can. Sure you can. That's right. She does a sure you can. Woo! Ah, sea collars. They're gonna call the sea me. Or is it just a really, really fat monster? Fat monster. I think it's Princess from World of Warcraft. Look on your face as even my good side is worse for wear. I've been trying not to think about the Five. changing. Like it could all be a bad dream I've woken up from. Nightmares. All nightmares. Since that storm blew us off course, <clears throat> off the compass, past the map. Wow, what did Zach <clears throat> Morris do to AC? About, about dead ships all caught up in red weed as far as you could see. <clears throat> about the things moving in the fog, in the water. <clears throat> about what we saw beneath it all, deep into the abyss. <clears throat> or what I found there. In that dungeon darkness, it shone like a signal flare. Like something fallen down from heaven above, you understand? A blade made of pure light. A thing of terrible beauty. I could hear its siren song just, just calling me. Last I remember was the Creed boys hollering as I took a hold of it. Or it took a hold of me. I wasn't strong enough, I, I know that now. <clears throat> they told me it pushed back the fog and the waves while I was out cold. <clears throat> told me it saved us. <clears throat> it didn't save us. <clears throat> that thing brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <clears throat> I brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <gasps> and I still hear that siren song. <clears throat> I know you hear it too. You could find it. You could stop it. I hope he's not contagious because he's but like grabbing me. <laughs> in the deep, in the dark. He just likes you. Yeah. What happened if I never left that red sea? He thinks he can take advantage of me with his tentacles. Maybe Joe Slater never did. And all this is just some pitch dark dreaming. Hmm. So, I don't know if you caught all that, viewers, but were they like on a boat somewhere out in the water, and then they saw this light, or did they like find an island or something? Something I don't know. like that. Yeah, and then they see a light, and he grabs it to save everyone, and apparently it was bad. So don't go to the light, <laughs> viewers. Which tunnel did you go down? The left or middle or right? The left one that okay. tells you where it tells you to go. Oh, we have to use the siren song? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. There was one other thing I want to mention was if you've ever seen Stephen King, or wait, is it Stephen King or John Carpenter? John Carpenter's The Fog. It's very similar to this plot line. But, um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, viewers. I'm gonna stop it for now, but. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to listen to the siren song.